Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my Let's Play for No Man's Sky. So, uh, I've been a little bit busy. Ooh, is this thing ready? The game made me build this thing. Uh, but it does get you a lot of oxygen. Like, way more oxygen than condensed carbon, so I think it's worth using until my major construction project. So, I just got a thing. Hold on, let's check that out. Shield module. Well, that's pretty good. 33% for core health and 89% for shield strength, so hopefully we can see that improvement. Okay, so... Shit, I don't remember. I upgraded my exocraft a little bit. I'm not close enough to interact with it, though. I wonder if I'm over here, if I'm close enough to interact with it. Nope. Okay. This. Huh? So I made a mining laser, and then I significantly upgraded it. Uh, I bought two crappy things. They were really cheap, but they do virtually nothing. And then I want to install this guy. Pugnium. That's what I couldn't remember. I need copper and pugnium. So I'm going to do that really quick because I need to go over to my copper mine anyway because it's probably completely full of copper at this point. And I'm kind of torn about what I want to do today. So I've done some research. So first of all, in the last episode, I was talking about how a lot of my like really high-end life support uh, upgrades have solar panel power. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? So basically, your life support goes down significantly slower when the sun's out, when it's bright. So that's cool. Look at that. 1,500 copper. Just like that. Oh, it drains everything at once. Okay, cool. Guys, it's so nice to just get 1,500 copper. Like, just like, blow. Like, every time I sign into this game now, I will have 1,500 copper. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so we need to go get Pugnium. So, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking about putting a, like, proper like cannon blaster thingy on my exocraft and then hopefully what that means is I will be able to fight off the um, sentinels that I can fight sentinels with it because I have that quest to destroy the planetary depots and I'm worried that it's going to spawn one of those like ATST style guys and that I'm going to get all kinds of effed up. So yeah, I wanted to have an exocraft mounted cannon and I'm hoping that that's a little bit stronger and that I can use it to fight. Because I know in the past I actually fought one of those things with my uh, spacecraft. So I figured, you know, I'll probably fight with this thing. Um, so there's my mining laser. Oh, look at that. Maybe I should practice on, like, one of these guys. I mean, it's doing 320 damage per shot. That's pretty good. Oh, and then there was a crick shot for, like, 100 and, like, 1,200 or whatever. And this thing mines really quick, too. Like, the mining laser's pretty strong. Um, so if I just want to go out to, like, get, like, pure ferrite, for example, like, this thing is winning. Yeah, it's great for gathering, uh, like, basic resources and stuff. And it's not super fast yet. Like, I definitely need to get some engine upgrades and some booster upgrades, but... 
all I could literally find was the Class C, which is obviously, like I said, it's pretty crappy. Almost, like, not, almost literally does nothing. You know what I mean? You know what else I haven't tried? The scanner. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I improved the scanner. I haven't really messed with it. It's kind of cool because it highlights all the stuff that you normally have to, like, find with your visor. Like, normally when you're walking around, you know, like, you, your scanner just finds, like, sodium and stuff like that. But this is actually finding, like, stuff that you normally have to, like, actually look at with your visor. So that's actually kind of cool. Oh, we're there already. Holy shit. Okay, well, it's about to go down. Um, I'm going to... No. Ah, back up. Okay, before I go blowing shit up and pissing off Sentinels, I'm going to search all these, like, random containers, and then I'm going to save so that if something were to happen to me... Uh, I don't lose. I don't lose all my stuff. Okay, it says I can already, like, return to the armor. But I really want to at least, like, try on the ATSC, so we're going to see what happens. Okay, here we go. We're going to see what happens here. It's interesting. They're, like, looking for me. Hello. Oh. It's actually, like, really doing some work on his armor plating there. There goes half my extra craft's health, so. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm trying to keep, like, some structures between me and it. Oh, he's still chasing me. That's horrifying. Um, I at least want to build my shields up, you know? <gasps> what the fuck? I just fell in a hole. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, this just got interesting. Um, I am in a hole. How does this happen? Why am I in a hole? Okay, I think I can get out here. Okay, so I think, um, I think it's possible that you could take it down with one of these things, but maybe not the Exocraft. Or maybe the Exocraft, but like, I need upgrades, but I may have to get like the really big one. There's a really big vehicle that you can drive around in, it's pretty cool. So I, I may need to do that instead. Anywho. <laughs> uh, I didn't even think about like what I got like from doing that but we got some pretty good stuff we got a ton of nitrogen salt which is worth a fair amount and of course we got some pugnium from killing the dudes and we got a uh, quad servo I got a bunch of effigies while I was out and about and then a bunch of dirty bronze and uh, lemium I mean it's 
really when you think about it like we made a fair amount of like money like if we wanted to sell this stuff like we did pretty good that was totally worthwhile and we're gonna get something for our trouble which is also nice okay so he wants two vikine daggers um well unfortunately i have vikine effigies but not vikine daggers I like how the it's just like collect. Acquire daggers from the Bikin traders at outposts. Or find them in planetary containers. Yeah, it's really hard to find these daggers. It's not like they're just laying around, you know. Um Well, I guess I can jump to the space station really quick just to see. Nope. They do have some ionized cobalt, though. Okay, so that's something that's just going to happen, right? So we don't have to actively track that quest. Um, he wants me to go to a scorched world to collect selenium um, so that I can make another thing. And I kind of want to do that, which means we're going to have to travel to find it anyway. So let's do this. Let's see if we can start the Atlas path, because we haven't really done that yet, like, at all. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I had a mission with my freighter, so I should go collect that really quick. Whoa. That's actually a lot of money. I don't usually... Whoa. This is a good one. A ton of money. Seven sack venoms. Enriched carbon. Holy shit. This was a pretty good damn uh, mission. Enriched carbon. Look at that shit. Over 700 grand. That's what I'm freaking talking about. And that's worth a fair amount of money. I don't have a ton of storage right now, though on my spacecraft so uh i don't want to transfer it just yet i'll deal with that next time i plan on going home uh, i did get a combat vessel by the way so i could potentially do a combat patrol if i wanted to 15 hours that's really long honestly that's like too long i wanted to do a longer quest but not that long let's do this one Oh, that's right. I See, I'm going to have to build a second command room at some point because my fleet is starting to get big enough to where I can probably do two missions at once. But let's not worry about it right now. Okay. So we can see the Atlas path. It's this red dot line. It's going pretty far off into the distance. So we'll just follow that. And then if we see a scorched earth, then we're good. Okay. The huge planet behind me. We'll scan that one. Acidic planet. And these these planets actually do kinda suck. No cap. Okay, so there's a planet on the other side of this planet that I can't see. Or a moon or whatever. Metallurgic planet. It's got copper, gold, and so I'm kinda curious about that one. I may want to go look at that one just because it sounds interesting. So let's just go to the base though and expand our inventory. See if there's any good stuff that we can purchase, so on and so on. Every time I go on a space station now, it keeps telling me that scrap dealers have opportunities for me. But it costs $5 million. So, like, until I have that kind of money to stare, like, I'm, it's not going to matter. Well, the available market on this planet sucks. It has, like, nothing of interest. So that's cool. God, this planet was like way on the outskirts. Like, holy shit. It took me a really long time to get here. This may be the only planet in this system I uh, investigate before jumping to the next one.
Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Weird shit is happening! That's a cool scene, all the planets in the distance. Okay, what the fuck are you? That's an unidentified plant. The nutrient source is doomed wanderers. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's an actual animal over here. I don't know. Look at this weirdo planet. made out of pure ferrite and carbon. And there's our life form. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen a question mark before. Hello. Picked it up. <laughs> Not sure if that was the right move, but it's in my inventory. So, there's gold deposits, like, fucking everywhere, so that's cool. I guess if we wanted to take the time to mine a bunch of gold, this would be a good place to do it, right? Subterranean relic. I don't really see, at least like in the immediate, I don't see anything of particular interest besides that one random thing that I picked up. A rare stabilized glitch retrieved from a malfunctioning planet, safe for rehousing in a, in a, in a habitable base like a pet like I can keep this like a pet okay well we're gonna figure that out that's definitely interesting um, all right I, I give up oh Yeah, I can, like, place it. Like, it's a building. That's cool. It's weird. It doesn't have any data available. Oh, you know what? It's a... It's a, a red system, isn't it? That's why there's no data available. It's a red system. It's not gonna have a space station. But that's okay. Maybe we'll get some red shit while we're here. Okay. A rattling planet. Cadmium. I don't think I have any cadmium yet. And then gold and cobalt. This system only has two planets by the looks of it. Ooh, a volcanic planet. Ooh. It's got salvageable scrap, too. This might work. Because I can get pyrite there. Which... Is that what I needed? Fuck, I can't even think of what I needed. Um, I need selenium. Which can be found on scorched worlds. This world's volcanic. I mean, that... Right? You know? Like, it seems at least somewhat logical that there might be selenium. It didn't say there was, but there is pyrite, and I know I need pyrite, so I think we're going to go get that. Please be something awesome. Eh, pyrite. I mean, that's rare in its own right. <laughs> 
Okay, so we've got energy. It's a C-class, but it's enough to power everything. There was gas. I just can't see it now. So I probably need to head back towards my ship, and then I would see it. So let's go this way a little bit. I mean, this is an A-class, too. So we had A-class pyrite. Sulfuring. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of compelling. I mean, we're talking about two different things that I definitely, you know, can... I definitely cannot get on... You know my world and they're both a class so, i mean i would obviously get a fair amount of it thing is like once i leave this system i will likely never return because there's no space station to teleport to so if i don't make a teleportation thing like the only way to get back here i would have to literally make a uh what you call it a uh, a base and a portal myself so it's like eh. again like do I want to take the time how badly do I need sulfurite and the pyrite or whatever feel like I can live without it and this is a pretty shitty planet besides that so Okay, so we got a regular one on that one, but that's still pretty amazing. So I think I'm done with this system. That's a good amount of money. Obviously, I need to go to the space station to sell off uh, the inventory that I collected. I also need to call the anomaly to expand my inventory another slot. I haven't done that yet in this system. Um, but you guys know how that goes. So I, you know, I'll, I'm going to, oh God, I'm going to uh, let you guys go for the day and um next episode we'll finish the current line which means we'll get to talk to the atlas again but i also need to go home at some point <laughs> because i can do several side quests at home with everything that i've been you know picking up and stuff so we will We should be able to get all of that done in the next episode. I should be able to do... So I have a computer terminal quest. I have a quest for... Um, the base terminal thing. Far away is it? Shit. So we're going to do that. And yeah, we'll finish this current Atlas line. So we at least will talk to the Atlas once. So yeah. We have all that to look forward to, so thanks everybody for watching with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.